Prekrenca za lingvistiko Slovenskega lingvističnega združenja. So, Mr. David Luft, welcome to Slovenia. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> nice, nice to hear that. So, uh, how are the startups shaping the supply chain of the future? Well, uh, the startups are the key to have new, te- no, new technologies that uh, adapt to every single change that have the market, offering the, the, to the companies have a competitive advantage and to uh, have these technologies implemented in their, in their companies very easily. Mm-hmm. So you have the personal experience with the startups. Yes, indeed. Uh, and at Plug and Play, uh, we are an international company. We have more than 60 offices and more than 70,000 startups in our ecosystem. That is how we connect the startup with corporation. We have more than 550 partnerships with big industry leaders like Walmart, DSV, Merckx, Mitsubishi Electric, globally. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have access to different technologies that the startups are developing every single year. And that's the way that these industry leaders they have updated every single year to the new technologies that the startups are using and developing. So what are the startups uh, in the field of logistic development now? Well, we have many, many, many uh, different technologies, but to only to mention a few, uh, we have uh, in safety, sustainability, um, visibility. Well, um, only to give you an example, in safety, we have computer vision that we can use for shipments, uh, logistics as, um, uh, companies like trucks or, or ships. Um, every single that can, you can have a better safe environment okay? and, and take care from different, um, uh, different uh, details along the supply chain to have di- different technology that can help you to have more dif- disability and safety on all the all the, the chain. Mm-hmm. So what happens with those ideas? What happens is that these startups that are the key to have new chart new territories, okay, that are unafraid to disrupt. And this is how the the the, the ecosystem is working right now. How these technologies can adapt and integrate with the big companies. That's the key of of innovation. Because the companies right now, the industry leaders, the only way to be adapt to every single year to different technologies in the market is to have this partnership with the startups. Mm-hmm. And they can integrate very easily. We normally, we do a, in a year with these industry leaders, we do between eight to 10 pilots or POCs, the proof of concept with different startups. And they can, they can see afterwards if this technology works for them or not to do a partnership and continue their relationship. And that's the way how these, these companies, they are always in the cutting technologies. Mm-hmm. So these are mainly, uh, I think, big companies. What about small and media enterprises? We have from every single size. We have in our, in our, in our presentation, big logos, because everyone will know them. But essentially, we have, we have also private companies that we work with them the same way that we work with the corporations, big corporations. What and we, we need to highlight something very important. We work with the government as well. Historically, historically ha, has been that our model was targeting to the private sector. However, we figured out that our model works very good with the public sector ambition that is creating jobs, attracting foreign direct investment, retaining talent, and, and create innovation hubs in different cities. We already create more than 800 jobs globally and 900 startup accelerated. That provide to the region economic wealth and we can uh, do this innovation hub to grow the local startups globally and to they have the opportunity to success in real business opportunities. Mm-hmm. Can you estimate any financial gains in figures? What do you mean with? How much profit did they gain with startup technology? I cannot, I cannot have this measure because mm-hmm. uh, 
mo normally what we can do is to measure how many investment, foreign investment, direct investment we have in these different cities or locations, mm -hmm. how many jobs we can create, how many startup we, we can accelerate. But about that question in particular, I cannot say the uh, specific number. Mm -hmm. Do you personally have any, uh, any experience with startups? Well, personally, no. I was in my background before I uh, joined to Plug and Play. I was uh, as a director of Domino's Pizza in Chile, managing all the supply chain um, with more than 51 stores. After that, I came to U.S. and did my MBA at U.S. Marshall School. Um, and that was my journey to be more in the in the corporation side and not to be in the part of the startups. But in this moment, at plug and play, I am seeing the both sides, the best of both sides, the founders, the teams of the founders with different startups and different technologies, and also with industry leaders like Walmart, Merckx, and how they work, what is the interest? The big question is here is, Right now, the corporation, they are working all together with collaboration and not insulation like before. That's how we connect all the ecosystem all together at Plug and Play from companies around all the world and all everyone can share challenges, solutions and strategies mm -hmm. that can redefine the industry. Are these challenges the same all over the world globally or do they differ? They are, they are different. Mm -hmm. Every single company have their different problems. And that's how we solve, we help to them with specific needs that every single company have. But what's interesting here, because uh, at Plug and Play, we have more than 21 innovation programs, supply chain, energy, sustainability, fintech, real estate, and many others. Mm -hmm. And how we, uh, we combine this is put, um, uh, industry leaders, round tables. We're connecting from different verticals, different companies to share insights. Because you can, if you can, put, you can put together the the companies in the energy side, sustainability, supply chain, all together to share different insights that they have in different industries, this is a very uh, unique insight that's not common. And we provide that in our ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Can you make any comparison between American startups, European startups? Well, we have uh, globally. We yeah. have startups from Asia, Europe, mm -hmm. US, Latin America, uh, South Africa, mm -hmm. every, every, every single place. Every single um, startup have different technologies, different teams to solve different problems. And how we are go uh, helping them to have this partnership with bigger companies or private companies mm -hmm. to have these organic organic revenues to do this partnership and not to go funding more more funding in, your, in other venture capitals and have dilution of their uh, stockholders mm -hmm. in european union we have a lot of legislation regarding this green agenda which is going to be performed in next 10 20 30 years so how do we cope with that well if we talk about the sustain sustainability sector in, in, in supply chain, it's a crucial. Every single company is looking how it's going to be more sustainable over time. Our supply chain vertical is uh, working very tight with our sustainability vertical. Why? Because both together need to work very aligned to the f new, new needs in the future. In, we have programs of hydrogen. Um, that combine six offices globally, in, and their primary office is Hamburg, because Hamburg wants to go forward with new technologies in hydrogen, as well as the companies like uh, different companies that we have in our in our um, in our uh, platform that want to move to new different programs of sustainability of, uh, for example, carbon emissions, uh, sustainable mining fashion, um, uh, carbon neutrality, all of this is focused on how the companies that can be more sustainable over time. Mm -hmm. This is not your first visit in Slovenia. Uh, do you have any advice to Slovenian government regarding logistics? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I will be happy to uh, get together with the Slovenian uh, government mm -hmm. because we already work with more than 50 governments around 
U.S., Europe, and different governments around the world, because that's how we will helping not only the startups, mm -hmm. also the companies. Because these companies, the ports, the uh, intermodal, trains, uh, logistics, name it, mm -hmm. everyone can connect with all the, these corporations globally and to see, to share these challenges that they have, peer-to-peer -peer connections. Mm -hmm. And also the startups, for the other hand, they can have this grow internationally. And to be success and to have real opportunities is in 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 business uh, in, in business uh, globally. No, basically at intermodal, uh, we are not so good in Slovenia. What would you suggest? Well, uh, I will show mm -hmm. in the next few minutes uh, mm -hmm. a very interesting startup that is revolutionizing the intermodal um, uh, uh, industry mm -hmm. because there are startups that there. Are giving more another kind of technology that can have autonomous rails and managing with batteries, sensors, motors, and transmission to have this um, uh, autonomous rail uh, that you will redefine the industry that never changed in, in the last hundred years. And that's the kind of example that I, I want to show today, how the startups are shaping the future. Because without the startups, is we cannot improve every single year because the technology advanced so fast. Mm -hmm. And the, the startups are the, the, in, in the cutting edge technology every single, every, every single year. Can you name any good practices? Uh, about? About this cooperation and good startups and the bridge between technology and companies? Well, um, we have our method, methodology at Plug and Play. Mm -hmm. and we have three foundation pillars. What, what I mean with that is we have an accelerator program that we uh, give to, to the startup how to grow um, of, uh, and have the exposure globally. The corporation innovation is where our true mastery of our work is developed, where we connect startups with corporations. And the venture capital arm is how we can give the fuel to the startup to grow. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there are lobbies who don't want to change. How do you persuade them? Well, um, I think uh, many companies came to, to plug and play and they don't know what they need. They don't know the technologies. And we guide them through all the innovation of every step of their innovation journey to help them to from the sourcing of the startup to the implementation of these technologies, because that's our service, how we do corporation innovation with these private companies, that they don't know what they need. And that's where we are involved. Mm -hmm. Can you make any assessment of the Logistical Congress? Well, um, I, can, I can say that uh, the startups are the key to to be success with new technologies. And if you want to have uh, cutting edge technologies, mm -hmm. it's just, you need to look in the startup what they are doing. Why? Because they are the only ones that are not afraid to disrupt. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the, the supply chain of the future is going to be what? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's an interesting question. Uh, I cannot say because uh, supply chain is, is uh, moving so fast and we are uh, very uh, updated with every single technology, but supply chain um, is connecting with, very, with many verticals as well. Semiconductors, advanced manufacturing, sustainability, everything connected to each other, aerospace, and we, have, we can have from uh, advanced manufacturing to the vast frontier of aerospace and supply chains here everywhere over there. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. David Luft, thank you very much for your comments. Thank you for the invitation. I'm very happy to be here with you.